The day is Friday, March 29th, 2024. You wake up disoriented. Feverishly putting on your Garfield slippers, you notice that characteristic ache. Today feels like a Monday. Yet, the slightest indecipherable amount of excitement tingles your pals. Something's underway. Later, at work, as you alt to your Excel sheet, you sense a resurgence of sweat emerging from your skin. Doubt haunts your mind once again. You close your eyes, but your heart cannot shut itself to the dilemma. One question, one single question, sword of Damocles dangling over your head. Will you play Flicker Strike tonight? The reasonable answer would be, by softcore trade standards, do not. Flicker starters have a history of trading glimpses of fun for pretty much permanent despair, often ending up reawakening ancient inner demons. But if the urge for speed surpasses that of your desire for a flawless league start experience, I might have a decent band-aid of a flicker strike bill for you. The way it's built is nothing revolutionary and red trail flicker is nothing new, but I haven't seen it run recently and it seems to me quite a bit better rounded than other flicker strike league starters I've come across in recent memory. Careful though, this comes at the price of not being entirely foolproof, and I wouldn't really recommend it for beginners, so hang in tight. We use the red trail boots which grants you a frenzy charge on hit while you're bleeding. We bleed ourselves using the golden rule and some chance to bleed here and there. In order to prevent us from killing ourselves with the self-inflicted bleed, we allocate endless hunger on the superior melee ascendancy tree. Since we're already using the golden rule, we can just slap on Tain Impact and some chunks poison in order to gain some monumental recovery in conjunction with Slayer Leech. This helps us recover the incoming damage from Trauma Support, our biggest source of damage. In order to mitigate the physical trauma damage, we generate endurance charges through inexorable, get a bunch of armor and some person fees taken mods where we can. The 10% flat fees DR from the boots also perfectly falls into place here. The leveling process is very simple. Once you reach the Act 1 town, you'll simply alt tap to your favorite browser and search for Count's latest Bond Shatter Guide. Do not feel betrayed. Every league star countless addicts spend their first and last chaos of the league on a Terminus S, but I'm not here to gaslight you. I am here to enable your flicker addiction in a safe and mostly harmless environment. This is why you too must go through the bone zone. This journey ends as soon as you meet the relevant requirements and acquire the object of your desires. Here's how your gear should look like as you acquire the boots, switch to crit and to our beloved flicker strike. Wear crit and use a flesh ripper base that we must craft with hybrid person fizz and chance to poison to enable tainted pact. You will want to have some accuracy and intervals but across your helmet, gloves and rings, other than that it's just life and resist and minus mana cost on rings. Flasks are pretty basic besides the one flask that we want to use for slayer related purposes and the only jewel you'll need is the golden rule for now. Once that this level of gear is reached, you then want to progressively replace it with suppression items, add in some altered implicits and craft some focus mods. As you switch into flicker, your DPS should be ranging from 3 to 4 mil at 30 trauma stacks, without flasks nor berserk. When both are clicked, the number is brought to a bit less than double that amount. With about day 3 gear and more levels, we get around 5 million unbuffed, up to 10, 12 mil range when everything sticked. Which brings me back to focus. I think focus mods are pretty underestimated, especially when it comes to melee. Indeed, in Path of Exile, hitting a boss for more than 4 seconds straight as a melee build without either dying or killing the boss is really not that common of a situation, and that's what makes focus very relevant in my opinion. When it comes to defenses, the build really isn't anything to brag about, but in the contrary of most flicker builds, map bosses can safely sneeze without killing you by accident. This is how it looks like at level 90 with day 1 gear, without buffs nor flasks. 
If you're not familiar with these numbers, feel free to compare them with other PUBs you know or come across. Overall, defenses are mid, depending on some tree choices and gear, but our recovery makes us pretty much dot immune which feels very good. Here is the flicker setup, remove Ruthless on a 5 link. Melee Fizz would be slightly more damage than Ruthless, but the reduced attack speed feels less good and generates less trauma stacks. No Brutality because of Tainted Pact, no multi strike because we want to gain trauma every attack, not 1 out of 3. Trauma support deals damage to us, so we take advantage of it once more with a CWT setup, plus Ancestral Cry. Movement speed setup plus Berserk, obligatory totems to melee builds, Auras, and that's pretty much it. Nothing particular about the tree, except that you must get some chance to bleed right here to enable the red trail. This life mastery is also helping your mana quite a lot. If you can manage sufficient accuracy on your gear, you can try giving up impact for headsman for a bit more single target, but the reduction in AoE makes mapping a bit more clunky. Try at your own risk. Please refer to the notes tab for the main important points and some other stuff. Ok folks, let's quickly recap what we have here. Is this build the best league starter? Nah. Does it still suck at bossing like any other flicker build? Yes, it does. But would it be the least terrible flicker strike league starter? Possibly. In any case, as a flicker guy or gal, performance is probably not what you hunt for. Because no amount of wealth, damage per second or defense layers could overcome the sheer glory of speed and zooming. For it is fun, fun joyful, joyful and happiness that you are pursuing and most definitely not some amazing spiritual number. number.